got this central truck here. Probably gonna have to follow him all the way up the hill. That kind of sucks. Now I get to looking up there. The bass is right in there. It's like it is snowing up there. So should be fun. curve before the incline and from this curve as we come around here it's a left curve a little town called Sargent's so as we come around this corner here now that car was trying like hell to get around that truck almost ran him off the road and look now he pulls over and Central got over for me thank you Central snowing up there but it's probably not too bad none of these cars are covered I did pass the sign it said icy roads ahead so but we knew that because we saw the 28 degree mark down here at the bottom and I'm probably gonna have to snag seventh gear here back here we're gonna take seven miles of curvy roads up to the summit and it will be snowing up here and we're just gonna take it nice and easy
bit of slush on the road. This is really, really the best it can be this time of year. Ah, there's a guardrail. Yay! Straight down. two-handed driving here might have to forego the video didn't uh, didn't plan to have the stand on here the uh, camera stand so I'm doing kind of a hold the camera routine this road gets really icy so you got to be really really careful they usually keep it sanded pretty good though and moving along, 9,802 feet, 9,802 feet, still doing fine. How far you live? How Need to get over the top, the other side of this mountain is my house. That's where I'm headed, if I can make the run, I'll be doing a layover there tonight on my way to Dallas in the morning. Don't want to get hung up up here. We're only about uh, I don't know 50 miles from home. That would suck to get hung up 50 miles from home. Have to sleep in the truck. Yes, yeah, sir. It's still snowing, and we're still in seventh gear at uh, 1,400 RPM. No chains, we're, we're running barefoot. Uh, no chains are required up here right now. But I uh, gotta pay close attention not to break traction because once you break traction, you're screwed. So we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna be careful. Look at That's that drop off. Look at that drop off. Great now, now. Yeah. Still no cars behind us. Nobody's even trying this, or I don't know why. It's not that bad. Moving along, singing the song. 
Now there's enough of a snowpack here for it to get damn slick, so we want to back off a little bit on the speed and get the RPM down below 15 so we're not, if we uh, break loose, we don't spin out real fast. So we're down at about 14. I want to bring it down a little bit more. At 25 miles an hour at 1400 RPM. Empty the wipers now. It's starting to snow pretty good. And we're at 10,131 feet. Quite a bit of snow up here, actually, considering it hasn't snowed much down in the valleys. Twenty-five miles an hour at fourteen hundred RPM. Got a lot of weight, so that's kind of good. And I got a car coming up behind me, so two of them. So I probably need to get over as far to the right as I can. And it's going to be slick over there, so but, uh, I need to stay in the sanded area. Let them do the let them do the Rambo stuff. Stay on the sand where possible. Twenty-five miles per hour at fourteen hundred RPM. I don't see them trying to pass. It looks like they're going to take their time. That's good. We're at uh, 10,275 feet now. Still got a ways to go. If I recall correctly, this is 14.3 to the top. Downhill traffic's going slower than we are going uphill. That's how slick it is. That's what we'll be doing on the other side. If we ever get to the top. Well, no one's going to attempt to pass me, so I've reclaimed my center lane position. They're all just going to have to live with it. Another big rock off. Oh, you. Let's get that right down to the ground. Yeah, we do want to stay on the road here. We don't want to get off the road. We don't want to stop either, you know. That's just... I'm going to keep the same traction going. We're about 1350, 1400 RPMs. Just about right. See a ski slope. It's coming off of the Monarch. It's just a winter wonderland. This is uh there's the ski slope over there. Now that actually is an easy telephone power. It's not a ski slope at all. My bad. Okay. Now I got three, four cars behind me, and I just am not willing to uh, slow down and get over. They're just going to have to deal with it. I want to slow down and lose traction, and then try to get it again with all this weight going uphill. Just want to maintain, maintain traction without breaking it, without slowing down, without speeding up. Kind of the idea. Okay, 10,561 feet. 
Yeah, we'll get over here and see if this guy wants to make a run for it. Yep, he's going to go. Here he comes. He's coming around. Forest Service. And there's one, two, three, four more back there. Driving like idiots. Everybody's in a hurry. Here comes this uh, high roller. Passed him in a ditch down the road. And 10,752 feet. It's not snowing too bad, it's just, uh, I mean, uh, seen it a lot worse up here. Okay. Well, we got the backpack to two now. Kind of let them around me before I get to the top. Because, uh, there's nowhere for them to go on the other side. They'll be trapped behind me all the way down. So I'll find a spot up here. I can still at 25 miles an hour, about 1,450 RPM right now. Slow it down just a tad more. Don't want to break traction. Just stay in the sand. You can see my dog is just terribly concerned. Just having a hard time. The anxiety is just overcome her. Okay, let's see here. Get over to the road. Yeah, there's a downhill tanker. That's the only other truck we've seen on the road since we got Got the scanner and the CB going. We're at 11,000 feet now. They've got this sanded really good. We just got to stay in it, and not slow down. I love my GPS telling me there's a windy road ahead. It's like duh, but. I guess if it were nighttime, they would be appreciated. Okay, here's a straight stretch. Let's squeeze over to the right, see if this fellow wants around me. Well, I was only able to let two of the cars by, but I did move up to uh, eighth gear. And I threw my Jake brake on. You can see the road is quite a bit better here. It quit snowing. And I'm actually at Monarch Hill right now. It's, this is the uh, Mountain Lodge. We swing around the corner here. You can see there's a whopping four cars parked there. They must be doing a bang up business. The roads are good enough uh, to pick up the speed. I'm up to 40 miles an hour now. Uh, Jake brake in the second position and do an interval braking maintaining 35 to 40 miles an hour and uh, The cars aren't too aggravated actually. I'm kind of impressed or being patient. That's nice Always a little bit of pressure on you when the cars stack up behind you, but you can't let them dictate what you're gonna do You need to do what's right for you and the truck and the load that you're hauling so that's exactly what we're doing. We're basically out of the woods here. Snow's almost gone. Roads are good. Temperature uh, back a mile or two ago when the camera was off was 22 degrees. You can see the overcast is clearing. You can see the mountains out towards Salida. Salida, Colorado, which is east of Monarch in the San Juan Mountains. And we're doing 1600 RPM at 40 miles an hour in eighth gear coming down the mountain. And the Jake brake in the number two position, you can see the roads are dry. So there's no uh, 
It's the exception to some icy spots. There's really no issue with using the Jake brake and the road the way it currently is. But uh, we still got a hell of a downgrade to go. We're still at 9,300 feet. And uh, the valley down here, at, down to uh, Salida and the Arkansas River Basin, is about a, uh, I want to say it's 5,800 to 6,000, maybe 6,200 feet. So we got a good 3,000 feet to come down yet. It is beautiful. So snowing just a bit on the top. Kind of fun. This is probably boring for you all now. So I think I'll go ahead and shut down the camera and conclude that as a uh, winter drive over Monarch Pass. Monarch Pass Highway 50, Colorado.